I'm going to show you how to do this fisherman rib stitch. It's only two rows and it's quite simple once you get the hang of it. You're going to cast on an even number of stitches, which I've already done because I've started this. You're going to purl the first row and then you're going to do every row the same, which is purl one stitch, put the yarn in back, and you're going to knit in the stitch below the next stitch. That's called K1B, knit one below. Going to knit it and just let it fall off the needle. And then you're going to purl the next stitch as usual and then again take this stitch that's below the stitch that you're ready for, knit it off, let it fall, and purl the next stitch. Once again, take the stitch that's below the row, knit it, and let it fall off, and purl the next stitch. This makes for a very soft, thick rib stitch which is what a fisherman rib always is. And you would generally use a wool yarn, thick, and just do that two stitches. Purl, knit from the stitch below. Let it fall off. Purl. Knit from the stitch below, let it fall off, and purl the last two stitches. This stitch is the same on both sides. You can see it, and when I turn it, you see it looks exactly the same. So again, I'm going to just show you how to do it. You're going to purl the first stitch. You're going to knit the stitch below. Let it fall off and purl. You're going to knit the stitch below, let it fall off, and purl. Again, you're going to knit the stitch below, let it fall off, and purl. You'll be able to see what you're doing because the knit stitches are all in line and the purl stitches are all in line so you can't forget knit let it fall off and purl it's really unraveling but that's what you want it to do knit let it fall off purl knit let it fall off Purl, knit below, and then just purl the last two stitches. And there you have it. Like I said, it's the same on both. It's really fluffy and soft. I used brown sheep lamb's pride wool, which is especially fluffy and soft anyway. But this is a great stitch for those warm winter sweaters that you're going to be making.